गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेशन नाइन मेंटेन वर्क प्लेस सेफ्टी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज वर्क प्लेस एंड व्हाट इज सेफ्टी वर्क प्लेस इज द एरिया वेयर अ पर्सन वर्क दैट इज वेयर हिज और अर जॉब इज एंड सेफ्टी मीन्स टू कीप सिक्योर एंड सेफ सो वी कैन से दैट वर्क प्लेस सेफ्टी रेफर्स टू द वर्किंग एनवायरमेंट एट अ कंपनी office school or wherever a person is working it also includes all the factors that impact the safety health and well-being of employees it can be environmental hazards or unsafe working conditions while working in any workplace there can be some hazards that is problems which are related to environment suppose someone is working in a factory and the environment there is not good or the environment employees are not provided with the proper equipments and tools for that particular work so that can lead to some problems while working so in order for this every organization must follow a standard of safety rules and procedures and these rules must be properly told and displayed at important areas in the workplace also the employees who are working in an organization they should be given proper demonstration and training to follow the safety rules like if someone is working in a company and if that area is vulnerable to fire or any such things they should be given proper training that how to deal with it in case anything such happens now different types of safety rules to be followed at workplace are fire safety falls and slip safety electrical safety and the use of first aid first we have is basic fire safety rules though it's a rare chance but sometimes it happens so these things should be kept in mind while you are working in an organization that what are the basic fire safety rules that what you should do in case a fire happens fire escape plans like fire alarms and other such equipments must be installed at proper levels so that anyone can use them whenever it is required maintenance of safety equipment must be taken care of regularly if any such equipment is there which is related to the fire safety and if they are not working properly they should be maintained regularly they should be checked from time to time and the employees working in an organization should know the location of the fire extinguisher in their workplace and about the nearest emergency exit so that if any such thing happens they should know what to do and it should be on time next we have is fall and slips safety rules when you are working at a workplace you have to move from floor to floor first floor second floor third floor or you have to come down also though there are lifts also but sometimes you have to use the stairs or you need to use some other things so in that case the workplace must be properly ventilated the first thing is there should be proper ventilation there should be proper windows second thing is the floor must be clean and dry the floor on which you walk or some things are being kept that should be clean and dry in order to prevent slipping if there are any oil spills or dust that must be immediately cleaned so that no one gets slipped on that one and smoke alarms must be placed at proper intervals the workplace should be kept a no smoking zone and there should be proper lighting inside and outside of the workplace to reduce the chances of slipping in the darkness there are some areas in the workplace where there is a little dark or the proper lighting is not there so while you are passing through that area or moving through that area it may happen that you may not notice anything which is kept on the floor or at the side and you may slip so there should be proper lighting at such areas rugs can be put on slippery surfaces to prevent from slipping if the floor of the workplace is much slippery rugs can be put on it so that while anyone is walking on them their feet should not slip next we have is electrical safety rules so these are the safety rules which are related to electricity
the electrical equipments being used should be approved by a recognized organization the equipments which are used at a workplace should be from a reputed organization they should not be the local ones that get easily damaged and if they are damaged then they should be immediately replaced also the old and frayed switches and wires should be changed the switches which have become so much old and their wires are coming out or they are not able to take so much load should be changed immediately heat emanating equipments should be kept away from the electrical equipments if there is any such equipment inside the workplace which emits the heat that should be kept away from the electrical equipment like we all work on the computer and cpu is also there so there can be mobile devices or other such devices which emanate heat so they should be kept away from or they should be placed little away from the switches or the electrical equipments the circuits should not be overloaded it should not be such that there uh, there is one switch and so many plugs have been put into it and so the circuits should not be overloaded next we have is the use of first aid in case any such thing happens we should know how to tackle it so we should know what is first aid and how to use it so first aid is the first help that is the immediate help which is given to an injured person to save life and minimize the health loss till the proper medical treatment or the facility is provided to that person so every organization must have a first aid kit that is the very first most and foremost thing some of the rules of first aid are assure the injured to remain calm and not to panic if any person has injured fallen or slipped or anything such thing happens then you should assure the injured person not to panic and remain calm in that case and keep them warm if they are under shock sometimes due to any such thing the person is under shock mentally rather than being injured much physically so you should keep them warm and calm next is do not move the victim in case of back or neck injury because if you move them in that case the injury can be further spoiled and it may it may get damaged so you should take care of this thing so now we have the assignment part what is workplace safety that you have to write down explain some fire safety rules explain some electrical safety rules to be followed in an organization question number 4 says explain some fall and slip safety rules and question number 5 says what is first aid explain some of its rules all the topics we have covered in the video complete the assignment and write all the question answers in your notebook chapter wise regularly